As reported, the Israeli regime continues to escalate its operation in middle and southern Gaza, worsening the increase in humanitarian crisis. A correspondent in Gaza, Nur Harasin, with the details. This early hours of the morning were very intense, not only talking about the intensive Israeli bombardment and airstrikes and shelling here in middle Gaza, but the situation inside the Shuhada Al-Aqsa hospital is catastrophic. People are leaving, people are scared, people uh, are feeling that the Shuhada Al-Aqsa hospital is uh, next. Now we are talking about patients leaving the hospital, we're talking about doctors leaving the hospitals, uh, even journalists, uh, even me, myself, I mean, I I am planning to evacuate again and this would be the third time where I evacuate since the 7th of October. So it is a total chaos here in uh, Gaza. Talking about the latest on the ground, the Israeli forces, as we mentioned uh, on the previous days, continue its withdrawal from uh, large areas from northern Gaza. However, it intensifies its attacks in southern Gaza now, in uh, middle Gaza like uh, Deir el-Balah and also in southern Gaza like Khan Yunis and uh, Rafah city. However, the humanitarian situation inside the refugee camps in uh, Rafah is now a total chaos. I mean, what is happening, it does not make any sense. It is not realistic to squeeze more than 1.7 people in just the small city of Rafah. It does not make any sense. Palestinians actually feel like they have been let down by the international community and by the UN. Nur Harazin, Gaza.